here, I'm Gary Potter, and in this lesson, let's take a look at the tune Cruise by Florida Georgia Line. This tune has four chords in it, and they can be played a couple of different ways. But in this lesson, I'm going to cover how to play the song with the capo on the third fret. And it would be as if we're playing in the key of G, but with the capo on the third fret, that is going to move us up to the key of B flat. So the very first chord is a G shape just on the 6th fret. So you're going to get your 2nd finger on the 6th fret of the 6th string, 1st finger on the 5th fret of the 5th string, 3rd and 4th string is open, and then the top 2 strings is on the 6th fret with your 3rd and 4th finger. It's just like that. And then the D chord is going to be your 1st finger on the 3rd string on the 5th fret, 3rd finger on the 6th fret of the 2nd string, and then your 2nd finger on the 5th fret of the 1st string. So going from the G to the D chord, you're going to see how I'm going to keep my 3rd finger stationary to make the transition easier from G to D. So you get... And I can slow that down so you can try to play along if you like. One, two, three, four, and... rhythm there would be down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 down. So it'll be a nice easy way to transition from the G to the D chord. The third chord is an E minor 7. Notice how my third and fourth finger is in the exact same position as they were when I was on the G chord. And my first and second finger is on the fifth fret on the fourth and fifth strings. I'm strumming all six strings on that chord. And then the final chord is a C add nine chord, which in this key is on the sixth fret of the fifth string. First finger is on the fifth fret of the fourth string. Third string is open. And then once again, my third and fourth finger are in the same spots on the sixth fret on the first and second string. So the whole, the whole progression together would look like this. One great thing about this tune is that it is the same four chords all the way through. So this will give you a chance to really practice the transitions when you're trying to play along with the song to get everything nice and smooth. The thing to really pay attention to here is trying to look for any common finger that you do not have to take off or move when you're switching to a new chord. So you can see from the G to the D, you have that third finger that could stay there right through that transition. Now, when you get from the D to the E minor 7, once again, you don't have to move that third finger, so you can keep that as a pivot point to move to that chord. It's a really great way to make these transitions smoother and quicker, is to have a finger as a pivoting point to move from. And then when you get to the fourth chord, the C add 9, the same thing happens. And really, from the, from the E minor 7 to the C add 9, you can just keep your third and fourth finger right in the same spots, so you don't have to move them at all. It's really just your first and second finger that moves. So it makes the transition a lot easier. If I 
speed this up a little bit. this lesson. Take a look at the link that's right below the video here in the information box and that will take you over to practicetheguitar.com and there you'll find a whole bunch of exercises all for getting better at switching from chord to chord just like the four chords that are in this tune here. So check it out. See you next time.